Now it costs five times more to acquire a new customer than it does to keep an existing one. Now most e-com brands spend hundreds of thousands of dollars every single year to acquire new customers. Now, if you're not keeping the customers that you've spent all that money for, you're wasting a lot of money and it's basically like a leaky bucket. Email marketing, on the other hand, is a customer retention machine. And there is one flow in particular that is very effective for customer retention and increasing the lifetime value of your customers. And that is the VIP flow. So today we're going to be going through how to build the VIP flow within Clavio. I'm going to share my screen and we're going to get started right now. Now the goal for this flow is to find the most valuable customers that you have. So the customers that buy from you the most often or buy the most expensive products and you want to roll out the red carpet and treat them like VIPs because this 20% of customer base is going to result in 80% of your revenue. So this is how we do it. Now what I'm going to do is on my Clavio screen, I'm going to click on segments. So I need to create a VIP segment to start with. So what I do is I click create list slash segment and I'm going to create a segment and I'll call this the VIP segment. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the conditions over here and click what someone has or has not done. And the trigger that I'm going to do is placed order. So placed order is greater than two times in the last 90 days. Now these two values are going to vary substantially based on the products that you sell. Now if you sell a product that customers usually buy once every month, then obviously these values need to be much greater than that. If you sell a product that usually someone buys once a year, then the values obviously could be much less. So you have to find the sweet spot of the customers that you have and really try to find that strongest segment of your customer base. And there's one more filter I'm going to add. And so I'm just going to click and is not suppressed for email. So just this one over here and I click create segment. So now we've created the segment. This basically just creates the rules and triggers for someone to fall into this segment based on your customers. And now we're gonna create a corresponding flow to automatically trigger these emails so you don't have to send them one by one after each customer enters this segment. So I click flows on the left tab and then I click create flow on the top right. And I'm gonna click create from scratch. And I'll call this the VIP flow and I click create flow. Now, the first thing that I have to do is select a trigger to start this flow. Over here, I'm going to click segment, and then I'm going to select the VIP segment that we created earlier. Then I'll just click done. Now, the next thing to do is going to be adding our emails to this flow. I like to make this a three email sequence. So I'm going to add the first email, and then I'm going to add a 24 hour time delay, 24 hour time delay, and then I'm going to add another email. And then after this one, I'm going to add another 24 hour time delay. So I just drag it over and then I'm going to write 24 over here hours and save it. And then I'm going to add one last email right at the end of this flow. Okay. So now that we've created the structure for this flow and we've added all the time delays and there's one more thing that we need to set up and that is setting up the flow filters. So I just click the trigger at the top and I click flow filters on the left and I'm going to add a flow filter. So what we want to do is if anyone makes a purchase during this flow, it'll stop the flow and it won't just keep sending the, right, the subsequent emails. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click what someone has or has not done, placed order, zero times since starting this flow. And there we have it. So now we've gone through the exact structure of this flow. This is how to set it up. Now I'm just gonna quickly show you guys the actual emails that we wanna send. So I'm just gonna to go to this document that I created earlier, and this is the structure. So for email one, what you wanna do is you wanna offer a 10 to 15% off discount. So the verbiage that you wanna use is you are a VIP customer of ours, and we wanna thank you for your loyalty to our brand. Here is 10 or 15% off for your next order, just for the appreciation of your love for us. So the next email that you wanna send is you wanna highlight some collections and showcase some other products that they might be interested in. And you wanna really focus on the benefits and how this can help your customer. The last email that you want to do is your offer is about to expire in 48 hours. So this will just create a bit more urgency. So that's pretty much it. So these are going to be the emails that you do for this sequence over here. And that really covers everything. So now we've gone through exactly how to create this flow, the structure that we want to do and every single email that is involved. Now, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out. Just comment down below and I'll respond to them as quickly as possible. If you've made it through this far, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate your time and I will see you guys in the next video. See you later. Bye.